Okay guys, I guess I will be vlogging today. So I woke up with a very bad migraine. The right side of my head is really painful. So yeah, um, it doesn't feel right at all this morning. I feel pretty bad, to be honest. Um, migraines, for those of you who have them, you know how painful they can be. For those of you who don't know, uh, they are extremely painful sometimes and they're very incommodating. I have to teach this morning, so I guess that's, that will be an interesting day. But I don't really feel like I'm in a position to be speaking for four hours. I need to meet someone to give them a few things for them to give them to a friend whom I'm not seeing because he's not in Paris. So after that, I will be at home. And guys, I'm not gonna do anything at all today. I'm telling you, this vlog is gonna be an indoor relaxing kind of vlog, unless I completely pass out, which is also a possibility. I guess that's it. I'm gonna make sure I have all of my papers and I'll go now. Unfortunately, I'll go. And it's raining, by the way just to make everything so, so better. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Hello guys. I'm really, I'm just, I'm just done. <laughs> Can I just say I'm done with today? Smiling and stuff, but it really hurts. And it's been hurting this since this morning. It's about 3 p.m. and I haven't had any food since this morning. And I've had this terrible migraine headache since this morning. Um, so I'm cooking now for tonight uh, first thing up I'm doing uh, sorry you can't really see but there are like potato stuff in there which is what I'm gonna eat now then I'm cooking all of the leftover vegetables that I have because I'm leaving tomorrow for my hometown so I need the fridge to be empty when I leave so here you have two tomatoes two leeks one onion one carrot and a little bit of bell paper and I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna add some salt some paper maybe curry a little bit I'm not sure so yeah anyway just to update you um, I need to do what do I need to do I need to pack my suitcase and that's it and I also need to get out again because I am on my period and I don't have pads anymore. Great. How great is that? Mm. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you later, guys, but please understand I'm not feeling well at all today. I don't really want to vlog. So it's the sort of finished result. Not really, though. I'm going to cook a little bit more. I'm going to add more spices and stuff. Adding a little bit, just a tiny little bit of soy sauce. Soy sauce, not soy sauce. Soy cream. But now what I'm gonna do is enjoy my little afternoon snack with this soy yogurt, which is apricot and goyava. And two or three, not more, of these cookies, which are actually vegan and are really good. I'm just gonna tell you what just happened at the supermarket. I went there to buy my pads and my soy yogurt and I was just holding those things and walking and I saw this old man that stared at me and I just didn't really give any fuck and I kept on walking and then I just met him again in, an, in another part of the shop and he was like, hey I know your hair and I was, okay maybe he was just staring at me because of my hair and he's maybe just friendly whatever and I was like, oh really? And so two guys that work at the supermarket actually immediately came. So he was like, are you working? And so I was like, um, yes. And I thought he was going to ask me about my hair. But then he was like, because I need some kind of help. So uh, that's actually when the male workers arrived. And that's when they told him, you know, stop flirting with ladies, whatever. And, um, and I was like, oh, really? What kind of help? and wait for it. Well, to do the dishes and the laundry and I was like, is this for real? Is this like some sort of jerk or whatever? So I looked at him and I was like, you know, we're in the 21st century, we're not in the 18th or 19th century anymore. And the male workers were like, yeah, exactly. They were kind of like shocked, I guess, and they were, it, it was a bit for, weird for me to see that they immediately came and they stopped and they actually like, you know, 
supporting me that was just nice of them and the the old man was just so shocked that I replied like that he was like oh but I'm tired and I was like yeah well bad for you but I work with you don't know me so I don't see why you're asking me that sort of that sort of thing go ask to young men so yeah just another example of pure sexism happening daily casually like it's no big deal an old creepy man just sees me and asks me if I can do his laundry his and wash his dishes I'm gonna end on that wonderful note I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog which was a bit bizarre weird boring whatever um, okay question of today guys what is your last experience of sexism whether you've been like the victim of sexism or you've witnessed it I would really be interested in knowing you know if that's freaking where you live as well which I'm pretty sure it is and where you've been through thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye hi guys so it is Friday and it's currently about 2 p.m. and I need to leave the house I guess I like half past two mm, I am eating really quickly and uh, then I will fold the laundry and make sure I have everything that I need in my suitcase what are the plans a little bit and I'll leave I guess uh, so this morning I woke up went to work it was really nice we had a pretty good um, morning with the students so that was cool and yeah I guess I'll film a little bit tonight but sorry I'll film a little bit tonight but not a lot and I will combine yesterday and today's bits and pieces and I'll upload it tonight I think and then tomorrow and the day after tomorrow are Christmas and Chris I mean Christmas Eve and Christmas so I don't know but my family is not big on Christmas anyway so I might you know just have plenty of time to film so we'll see Anyway, if I don't find the time to film at all today, sorry guys.